everyone hope you're all having a great day so tomorrow is New Year's Eve and I thought I would do a really quick video on how to help you keep your New Year's resolution a lot of people focus on external things so they want to either lose weight they want to um, have more money they want to travel more the important thing to realize is that getting things won't make you happy those are short-term fulfillments. What we want to do is we want to create long-term happiness and ways to help you continue and maintain those goals. Now, the secret to maintaining consistency is to have some kind of progress, is to really appreciate and look at the progress that you're making and be a part of that and not forget about the in-between parts of achieving a certain goal or achieving a certain lifestyle or achieving a certain weight. Things are constantly changing. The weather is changing, the market is changing, the economy is changing, and we have to really learn how to adapt to those changes and not let those interfere with our goals and with the things that we want to create in our life and the type of lifestyle that we want. The first step is you have to have a vision. So when people say, I want to lose 10 pounds, okay, so you want to actually see 10 pounds less on the scale or do you want to feel t smaller in your clothing? Do you want your clothes to fit a little bit better? Do you want to be able to move better, have more flexibility? Those are the things that you have to really get specific with because just saying losing weight or losing 10 pounds is not enough. It's not enough motivation. Find what is the motivation behind that and really focus on that because otherwise you're going to give up. A lot of people give up after the first week or two of their New Year's resolution because they're not, they don't have that motivation. There's two types of motivations. There's the push motivation and the pull. You know when you feel like you're pushing your way through, you're, you're going to work, you're not really getting anywhere, you're just walking through your daily routine, everything is the same, you're not feeling very motivated. That's a push motivation. A pull is when you feel like you can wake up early in the morning, you're getting excited about something, whether it's uh, working out, whether it's starting a new business venture, whether it's buying a house, whatever it is, it gets you going, it gets you excited. That's what you wanna feel before you've even achieved the goal. The second tip to help you keep your New Year's resolutions is you have to have a good enough reason to do it. So now, a lot of people, they don't train you or they don't tell you about the challenges that you're going to face as you go on the journey of achieving whatever it is that you want to do. And whether it's a setback, whether it's a challenge, whether if you're trying to lose weight and then all of a sudden there's a big snowstorm, you can't get to the gym, what are you going to do? Let's say you're starting a new business and the market goes down, what are you going to do? So you have to find that reason, what is going to keep you going, rather than focusing on just the action, find the actual reason what, why you're doing it. Prepare yourself for setbacks and write down how you are going to behave, how you are going to react in those setbacks and in those obstacles that are going to come your way, because they are. It's impossible to go through any kind of journey, any dream or goal without the setbacks. The third tip is reviewing and feeling this every day. Now I like to create a vision board and I do this quite regularly throughout the year. I'm not a big fan of doing it on December 31st or doing it for January 1st. There's too much pressure. It's just not for me. So I re-evaluate my goals and my visions throughout the year. What I like to do is I like to make a vision board and I'll be making one in another video. I'll show you guys how to do that. It gives you a picture image of the type of life that you are creating. Everything you do now is a reflection of what you're going to have in the future. The way that you behave, the way that you speak to people, the thoughts that go through your head when you wake up in the morning or when you're at work or when you're, you're faced with a challenge or when something great has happened, that gratitude that you put out into the world, all of this is part of the process. So you have to be really aware and aware of your habits, aware of what it is that you're doing right now 
if you want something to change in the future. The main message of this video is that you have to raise your standards. Look at the way your life is going now. Is, is, has it been the same? Do you feel like you're doing the same thing and you're still not happy? Raise your standards, whether it's with yourself, whether it's with relationships, whether it's with your work. Have that confidence in yourself to really full to really believe that you can do more. For example, if you want to have a very fit body, if you want to have the body of an athlete, you have to put yourself in a new mindset. You are an athlete. What do athletes do? They train every day. And this is just a part of who you are creating. It's that identity that you are creating. So figure out what it is that you want to identify with, what it is who the types who are the type of people that you like to surround yourself with and start mimicking their behavior start looking at what they're doing and see if it's something that you enjoy and that you feel good doing because in the end that's really what matters once you start feeling good and you will you'll start to feel a momentum happening you'll start to see signs and things will start appearing that you know, you didn't think would appear before and you'll be in the flow, you'll be in the momentum. I hope these tips help and I hope you have a wonderful new year. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys in 2016.